Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let me tell you something. God is up to something miraculous upon the earth and and so I'm so excited as I was sitting here this morning and and I'm going to share some very transparent moments with you um ah God is good God is good today is our day of intercessory prayer it is a day that we labor before the Lord on your behalf it is a day that uh, we come before the presence of God Almighty to lift you up in prayer and we speak unto your inner man today that you be not conformed to this world but be ye renewed by the transforming of your mind that's right uh, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind and that is over in the book of Romans the 12th chapter praise the Lord so that is our scripture text for today I love the way the Holy Spirit just directs us and uh, he's just good he's good all by himself let me tell you something I was uh, sitting here and uh, I'm gonna be very very honest with you I was doing some reading and some studying um, on the pastoral yes we are um, instructed to study to show ourselves approved and I was sitting here and I was saying to myself oh God I don't want to study the pastoral and uh, but it is what we must do and 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 just really because I was praying about some things and um, just wanting God to direct my path and 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 so uh, it took me to a dream that I had and, and as I was sitting here I heard the word realign and and so I went over to look up the meaning of realign and realign uh, means uh, to return to a state of to a former state return to a state of and that's why we are coming and we're sharing with you Romans the 12th chapter uh, the second verse says and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God the word align sp let me read it to you spiritually it means um, it is based and founded on God's holy word and these inspirational teachings are meant to help others realign their walk with God and find healing in Christ Jesus. Uh, we know that right now, listen, life is very difficult. It really is. Whether an individual wants to be affected by it or not, you are affected. But for those, and this is a call, this is a compelling, this is an invitation for those who minister, those who teach, those who preach the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ based off of the apostles. I believe it is a time of revival I cannot seem to get away from the whisper of the Holy Spirit um, about revival and and so everything that I look at and turn to is leading me back to revival and so as I was sitting here and I heard in my spirit revival um, it, it it's realign realign and and there is a call from heaven through the Holy Spirit that we as believers of Christ Jesus that teach preach and minister that we ought to invite those that have strayed from their relationship with God our Father in heaven to realign themselves with God's holy word and so I was instructed to send this out uh, to several that I know um, who are doing just that 
and and so from one of those recipients I want to read this to you um, it says that they did something similar last week and prayed for the body of Christ God bless everyone for uh, and this is a message that she sent out uh, a message she did last week God bless everyone for joining us in prayer uh, they did for 72 hours for every member of Jesus Christ is important may the Holy Ghost lead in God in what areas to pray for there is no line to call and this is your prayer space and and so they this was last week and uh, that right there was just absolutely awesome that God is sending um, out this message um, to those uh, willing vessels um, uh, an invitation an invitation needs to be uh, sent uh, for realignment for those uh, to return back to God to his word and so we are in alignment let me tell you something we want to align ourselves um, with um, uh, with God and with his word um, you know uh, and, and I'm, I'm I'm pausing because um, I'm responding to uh to one of our um to one of our pr uh, partners in prayer our covenant partners uh that received um the message this morning alignment it is time to get in realignment with god's word life causes us to pull back it causes us to shift it causes us to lose focus and so I truly believe that there was a plea upon the earth there was a plea that has been released upon the earth today that uh, God is calling us um, to a higher place he is calling us to realign ourselves with his will he is calling us to realign ourselves with his holy word and and so I implore you I encourage you uh, to realign yourself with the Word of God get back to the Word of God um, the prophecies uh, are, are going to uh, fade and uh, um, I want to get to that scriptures to that scripture uh, um, prophecies they will fade tongues all these things first Corinthians uh, 13th chapter let's go over to that um, the, the Word of God it will stand forever God's Word will stand forever it will stand forever upon the earth and so we must return back to the Word of God to hear what God is saying to us listen he has already spoken God has already spoken his presence is already here that's right God has already spoken. He has spoken to us through the word. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. Listen, I'm still getting messages in. Um, amen. 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 So here is the word it says. Uh, so the word that I... Uh, read earlier about calling people last week to a 72 hour uh, time period of prayer on last week um, uh, which was just being on one accord let me tell you uh, the message just came in it says this message that I sent um, earlier it was from last week but I believe since you sent me the text realign I'm gonna uh, ask the Holy Spirit when uh, does he want us to do it again we have 20 people praying and shift miracles gifts and deliverance took place and the fire of the Holy Ghost is still moving praise God this 
is revival this is revival this is revival uh, i'm going to ask this woman of god to let me know uh so that i can be in prayer amen 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 praise god oh god is good let me tell you something when you are obedient to the word of God let me tell you something um, uh, she's still talking it says we are moving in time in the spiritual realm of birthing and renewing getting ready for Jesus's return amen this is just good it is good it is good it is good in my spirit God is amazing um, about what he is dispensing upon the earth and so listen we must get ourselves in alignment with the truth get in alignment with the word of god um god is good glory be to god um god is good God is absolutely good. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. When you put out a uh, a, a, dec uh, a decree, a declare, um, um, glory be to God. Let me tell you something. You know what? I need to get this individual here on the air um, with me. And and uh, amen, amen. Uh, so she wants to know when I will have time so that we can uh, sit down and fellowship. Praise the Lord. God is absolutely good. He is wonderful, and and so I bless His holy name. He is wonderful. There is a release. Of an anointing upon the earth and I believe everything that's in me that he is calling for a revival upon the earth this right here is a spiritual revival um, this is a, a spiritual revival upon the earth that God is releasing and it is to those who will carry the word those who are willing vessels upon the earth and um, God is just able he is faithful at at what he wants to do um, upon the earth he is faithful he is just and I believe that he is calling vessels um, that will do this assignment that will carry this assignment upon the earth and and so this is a spiritual revival uh, a lot of people may not get a chance to um, come and facilitate in a building that's why this is a spiritual revival and uh, as we pray in and intercede for more instructions uh, we will release on the air the partaking of this spiritual revival so that you can partake in it as well uh, it is a time that we pray for those who have strayed away this is revival this is revival it is time that we begin to pray for those who are sh have strayed away that we also pray for the young believer for those who have strayed away from the truth from the true knowledge of Jesus Christ from the gospel of the 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 the, the word of God and then I hear from revelations for those who have strayed away from the revelation of the word it is time that they are realigned with God with the word of God and and so as I was just meditating a few days ago and and as I said the word revival has been in my spirit listen for a couple of weeks now I began to read the word of God over in Nehemiah and as well as concerning Ezra this is what revival is revival is when the people are gathered together oh god this is so good in my spirit i am so excited 
when the people are gathered together and the word of God is read and explained so that the people can understand uh, then that word can be digested it can be comprehended and and so then the heart and the mind are renewed yes because I can understand what you are saying unto me I can now grab hold of what God is saying unto me when the Word of God is read and it is explained that so that the people can understand that is revival that is revival oh God is so good and and listen I, I'm just so excited I'm sitting here, um, you know, um, and, and this word is just so in my spirit. And I absolutely love God for what he is doing. And uh, God is is just, he, he's working in, in, in the, 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 the willing vessels who will submit themselves unto him who will walk according to his purpose and according to his will I believe in 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 his divine timing and that's what's so important God's divine timing this is God's divine timing timing and and I want to tell you before we go into another portion of just being transparent stay focused stay focused on what God has called you to do stay focused on the will of God there are so many things that come about to distract us and and to get us off course and so what I'm going to share with you after a break, I want to take a break. I'm, I'm trying to calm my spirit down because, listen, I am just, I'm so excited. Um, God is, is awesome. He is, he is worthy to be praised. And, and, and so, listen, stay focused. And, and we're going to take a break. I'm going to shift just a little bit. But I want you to get that word in your spirit. Get realigned. If you are one under the sound of my voice and you have strayed and your relationship with God is not where it was, if you have strayed from your time in the presence of the Lord, if you have so strayed that uh, you're no longer reading your word, um, if you're no longer waiting to hear from him, to hear what he will say to you, listen, uh, God is speaking. He is still speaking. He has not stopped speaking. His word is yet going forth. His word is yet going forth. We have the word of God that he has left for us. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. All scripture was written by the inspiration of God. He is yet speaking. God has not stopped speaking he is still speaking we have come dull to hearing and so that is where the realignment comes in realign yourself with the voice of God oh realign yourself with the voice of God do not become dull of hearing do not become so dull that you say oh I've heard that before listen it is a sure in promises come check out the college of ministry and mentoring uh, the, the length of time along with the pricing for our courses there is also some um, Bible study tools on the website our monthly life applications that is there for you as well and listen if you have an event that you want us to share here on the air with the balance of life for your ministry or for your community events giving back to the community such as the back to school programs um, feeding the hungry uh, sheltering the homeless we invite you to share that with us so that we can share it with our listening audience and so what I do is is periodically I'll go on to uh, my news feed 
and I will find things that some of my friends uh, via my Facebook news feed that they have posted and I will share it with you and so I'm always on the lookout uh, for community events as well as ministries to share that information on the air with our listening audience there is so much um, you know God is absolutely good and, and I believe that um, he gave us this platform to share and to make mention on the air and let me see there was uh, one individual I saw posted uh, let me see okay here it is right here and and this is with someone uh, Sam Phillips jr. and the name of their church is be limitless church it is in Tampa Florida uh, they are having their official launch for their ministry on this Sunday September the 26th at 10 a.m. Um, and it is going to be held at the escape theaters Riverview uh, 14. The address is 6135 Valley Dale, Riverview, Florida 33578. Uh, Invitation says, uh, please come out and join us. We look forward to meeting you. So uh, I'm going to share it on my personal Facebook page. And um, once again, it is definitely uh, there. Uh, for you if you want to uh, take a look at my personal Facebook page it is uh, for public since we are a public figure Elder Angel Ferguson Ferguson and once again this is um, Be Limitless Church uh, Pastor Sam Phillips Jr. and let me see let me read this again it's official we launched this Sunday September the 26 2021 at 10 a.m. at the Escape Theaters Riverview 14. The address is 6135 Valley Dale Drive, Riverview, Florida 33578. So please keep this ministry in your prayer. Um, and if you are having a, a ministry event that you want to share with us, please feel free to email us today at the balance of life one at yahoo.com and uh, we will definitely share that with our listening audience and like I said I I normally go up and down my Facebook page and and see who's sharing a community event you don't need to ask me um, because that is a part of our giving back especially when it's connected to a ministry uh, we definitely love to share that with you keep them in prayer and if you are in the Riverview Florida area uh, please be a part of that amen 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 all right uh, let me share this with you and it's all about staying focused and it is definitely connected to being aligned getting back into alignment so I had this dream and um, it was it, it's it's so profound I had this dream that I was in a place and um, it was a place of poverty and I was looking at the surroundings and and so the wife there was a, a wife a husband and some children and the wife asked the husband to take out his instrument to uh to play it for entertainment for the children and i heard the husband say i haven't done this in such a very long time years but while he was speaking, my mind went back to where I saw this individual playing this instrument. Now in the dream, my mind goes back to this individual coming to my family home and playing this instrument. But the apparel and the presence of this couple when they came was not a representation of what I was seeing in their home when they came to my family home 
of their apparel and, and their demeanor and their stature uh, was totally different. But when I got to their home, I could see that what they presented to me in my family home was a misrepresentation. And so I want to say to you, be careful of who you connect with. Be careful of what you allow to move you. Uh, don't move by what you see, but move by what you hear from the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, that was one dream that I had. Another dream that I had is I was in a, this is another family, so this lets me know that these dreams are dealing with multiple people. And it it's as if in this second dream the electricity went out no electricity and they were sitting around conversing and talking and I was so caught up in the things that they were saying and doing that my appointed time to come and do radio I missed it by two hours and when it finally came to me that I had something I needed to be doing the time had passed and so I want to say to you today and I am the first partaker of both of these dreams stay focused to what God told you to do don't get so um, off track and I'm not saying that we shouldn't keep others in prayer I'm not saying that we should not uh, encourage them and when we have the available time to support I believe in support 100%. But do not stray away from what God has called you to do. Do not get so caught up in what someone else is doing and the circumstances of others that you neglect your assignment for what God has called you to do. Amen. I wanted to share that with you. If you are a follower of the balance of life, you already know and we've been doing this on coming up on five years we are a ministry that teaches we are a ministry that we share transparent moments with you and so i look at that as correction that's right i'm being corrected i'm being reminded not to allow what I see with my eyes or even what I hear with my ears to cause me to follow somebody else. Because looks can be very, very deceiving. If we only focus on what the natural eye can see and what the natural ear can hear, we are not listening to the directions and the voice of God. And we can find ourselves in a place that has been misrepresented. We can find ourselves in a place And we can be very disappointed. That's why we do not move by what we see. The truth of the matter is, the flesh can fix itself up to look like anything. It is the heart that demonstrates the truth. Earlier this year, and, it, and I believe it was probably towards the end of last year I remember laying across the bed and I heard in my spirit that deception was no longer hiding upon the earth deception was no longer trying to camouflage itself deception was open and it was trying to attract others to come along with it that's what the same that goes along with the dream of the music 
the individuals came in the appearance of one status. They, uh, they, they fit the part. They, they looked a certain way. And the music was beautiful. But I found myself now in their home. But once I got into their home, I could see that what they presented to me was two different things. And so we must be careful about what we attach ourselves to. We are to inspect the fruit that is before us. Because eyes can deceive us. Yes, it can. I don't care where you shop. I often hear people say, oh, they went and got that from a cheap store. But if you put it together correctly, and you know how to handle what you have on, they'll never know until they get behind the scenes. So never just jump and grasp at the first thing that you see. Pray. Pray that the Holy Spirit will reveal make sure that you pray about your connections God who am I connecting myself to and when they come dressed when they come dressed to impress ask the Holy Spirit to allow you to see spiritually so that you can see behind the pretense I like to call it the smoke screen when the smoke clears and it is settled truth is revealed amen all right i want to get back to this very very prophetic word of realign i believe that there is a call upon the earth today to realign ourselves with God's Word don't get caught up on blessings and I'm talking about natural blessings what I want us to realign ourselves with is the true Word of God that's going to purify us and cleanse us that is going to help us to stand against the dark days against the fiery darts against wickedness in high places the Word of God is our stability the Word of God is our hiding place the Word of God given in the likeness of flesh Jesus Christ so that we can have eternal life that is what we need to align ourselves with not just what we can get out of it, such as a blessing. Not so that we can just uh, get the latest fashions, the latest car, the latest uh, technology. I need some word that's going to sustain me. I need the power of God's word that's going to keep me. That is going to help me in my time of trouble that I can call upon the word when I am sick oh God when I need to just hear his presence I can call upon him when I listen he's talking to me I want to hear his voice I want to know his voice but in order for me to know his voice I must return to his word I encourage you spend time in the Word of God pick it up technology is so wonderful today you have your phone you can download the Bible on your phone you have tablets you can look at the word there you have your computers you have your laptops not only can you look at it through these devices but you can listen to it that's right you can listen to the word on the go I want to encourage you to return to the word 
we spend our time listening and looking at the funny videos online and what's on television even conversing verbally with one another whether it's through text message or conversation on the phone FaceTime you know I enjoy FaceTime with my grandchildren but I want to do some face-to-face -face time with God I want to get a better understanding of his word I want to hear clearly and precisely what he is saying and in order for me to do that I must realign myself with his word so where are you today? Where are you today with your alignment with the Word of God? Realign yourself with truth. As I was looking at this, I came across this here and I want to read it to you. It says, spiritual alignment. Spiritual alignment, alignment is based and founded on God's Holy Word. And these inspirational teachings are meant to help others realign their walk with God and find healing in Christ Jesus. So that's what it's all about. That is what it's all about. And if you are one that you carry the mantle of apostle, prophet, evangelist, teacher, pastor. Invite. Invite. Extend an invitation through prayer. That's the best thing we can do. Pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. Extend an invitation. Extend an invitation. That those who have strayed away would realign themselves with God's word. Everybody's looking for an answer. But it's where we're looking that will produce the right answer. I'll say that again. Everyone is looking for an answer. But it is where we are looking that will produce the right answer I'm not talking about an answer to fit the flesh I'm talking about the right answer I'm not talking about an answer that will fit the moment but an answer that will last to eternity and that is in the Word of God he teaches us that if we will diligently hearken to his voice and follow his commandments what is released unto us protection and healing salvation we have access to those things my protection is not in my finances simply because when the finances run out then where is the protection if I put my protection in finances what if I can't access the finances then I'd have no protection uh, my salvation is not in my works because if I can't get to one of my works on a certain day I could if my it, I, I, my salvation still has to be there so that's not where my salvation is my healing my healing is not in the people around me it is though I am connected to the vine the vine is Jesus Christ and so I extend the invitation here today for you to realign yourself with the Word of God find yourself in the Word of God remove yourself from gossip and things that do not edify the soul and align yourself with the gospel of Jesus Christ pick up the word what you're going to find what I have found to be true is that which I am seeking for it is in the word 
When I need encouragement, it's in the Word. When I need to know how to access healing, it's in the Word. When I am seeking Him when I am in trouble, the answer is in the Word. When I need protection, it is in the Word. When I am wondering how to get through my day, through the next moment, through this earth, it is in the Word that He guides me. When I want to know how to be who He has ordained me to be, it's in the Word. When I want to know how to please Him, it's in the Word. When I want to find out what I should stay away from, it's in the Word. If I want to know how to be a mother, a wife, a woman of God, an individual, it is in the Word. When I want to know how to submit and when I want to know how to exercise my authority, it is in the Word of God when you want to know how to stand when you want to know how to put your past behind you be renewed when you want to know how to put away the childish things and grow under spiritual maturity It's in the Word. Realign yourself with the Word of God. Amen? All right, let me share this with you again. Be Limitless Church will have their official launch this Sunday, September the 26th, 2021 at 10 a.m., at the Escape Theaters Riverview 14. The address is 6135 Valleydale Drive, Riverview, Florida 33578. Please keep this ministry in your prayer. We thank God for the open door that they have been given. And we bind the hands of the enemy that would try to come in to stagnate, to hinder, and to block this work that God has given them to do. Also, if you are in the Tampa Bay area and you're looking for a place of fellowship, whether in person or online, there is True Life Community Worship Center. The pastors are Senior Pastor Calvin Green and the co-pastor is Pastor Angela Green. Their address is 7402 North 56th Street, Building 600, Tampa, Florida 33617. Their services begin at 1030 a.m. Once again, they do offer online service access as well as in person. They are on Facebook as, a, as well as via Instagram. There are other ministries. If, listen, if you are on our Facebook page and we're looking and we see that you're doing something in the community, we will reach out to you. Amen. To God be the glory. We absolutely love each and every one of you. We pray for you. We encourage you. Stay encouraged, encouraging others along the way. Have a blessed day, everyone.